Hi guys, welcome. Danny here from the Magic Junk Drawer with stories from the A&P Vault. This is a great story. So this is going back many years ago. I come into work one day and now that I mention this, you'll notice it. Sort of like the sex in the A&P. Once someone points it out to you, you realize it's all over. When you go into the grocery store next time, look up for the bookkeeping office. You may never have noticed it before, but it's always up really high. And you probably don't even see people up there or you never noticed them before, but there are people up there. So in our store, um, after they remodeled it, there were two offices. There was a bookkeeping office on one side, there was a manager's office on the other side, and they were small, but they set up pretty high. Not as high as in all these other stores, but they were set up kind of high. So I come in to work one, one day and the bookkeeper, the full-time bookkeeper I was working with at the time, her name was, we will call her Elaine. So Elaine says to me, Danny, a package arrived for you. And I was like, oh, that's really weird. Who's sending me packages to the A&P? But at the time, I was kind of off and on with this guy who I've actually met working at A&P years before, and he was in the Navy, and he was stationed in Europe. So the chances were that if someone was gonna send me a package, it would have been him, and maybe he didn't remember my home address. I don't know what I was thinking, but I figured it had to be from him, because who else is sending me a package to the A&P? So this little white envelope comes, and I open it, and it is just, it's from somebody, and he says that he always watches me when I'm up in the tower. That's what he calls it, the tower. And that he wrote a story about the lady in the tower. He wrote a song about it. And that, I don't know, he, I guess he wanted me to go out with him or something. And he sent me these earrings. He thought that they were like perfect for me. And they were, and I kid you not, they were two rubber skeleton earrings like Halloween earrings but it wasn't Halloween time so this was all very bizarre so I opened it thinking that it was from the sailor and I remember Elaine was just standing there and she was like I Danny I don't even know what to tell you about this I just have no idea what to tell you about this just be careful when you leave here at night <laughs> I mean, you just can't make this shit up. This really happened. I thought that it was the most bizarre thing in the world. Very strange. All right. If you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe because the stories are going to keep coming. Thanks for watching. Bye.